Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Late Apex coming at you. Today on Rig Talk, we are talking about curve monitors, the bezel free kit, and how to set your angles correctly because some of you may be doing it wrong. So let's cut the app in and make it happen here on WSIM. The bezel free kit is a great little device, but not without its quirks using it on a curved screen. As stated in the instructions, it is designed for flat screens, although it does work. It's also designed for 27 inch screens, but can be used on 32s. When you open your kit, you will notice this tool. Using this tool as instructed is the first thing that causes the issue. The instructions state to use this tool against the screen to set an angle of 130 degrees with a usable window out to 120. This is fine for a flat screen. On a curved screen, this will not produce that angle. Technically, they do function. However, it does create more distortion, distort the render of the world, and play havoc on tuning your FOV. Using the tool against a curved screen produces a footprint something like this. The issue is also evident if you try to line up the tool against the inside angles of the monitor arm. If this was a flat screen, the setup tool would fit correctly because the angle set at the screens would project to the mounting arm. In this image, these two bolts, yeah, those little guys, should be parallel to the tool, creating that 130 degree angle on the monitor arm. This is because we are trying to set an angle using the radius of the monitor. With the wonders of CAD, a sketch can be made of the dimensions. By drawing a construction line from edge to edge of the side screen, we can see that the tool creates an installed angle of 112 degrees on the front side of the monitor or 68 degrees on the back side. Damn, only one away from 69. In this position, they do work and we can allow for angle adjustments in our sim. However, these adjustments and the distortion created tend to compress the main and most important area of your vision as well as affecting your depth perception. Ideally, most triple setups should be set between 50 and 60 degrees on the back side of the monitors, depending on your eye to monitor distance. In this image, we can see what 50 degrees actually looks like. And now, 60 degrees. Here's an image of all three together for comparison. It's easy to see the difference using calculated dimensions. So, how do we fix it? Well, it's simple, kind of. When setting up monitors, it is best to set the angle at the monitor arm, but this also creates an issue. When set up at 50 degrees, the bezel free kit would not hide the 6mm bezels on our 32 inch monitors. During testing, we found the ideal angles for 1500 radius curved monitors with 6mm bezels had a range of 65 to 58 degrees depending on monitor to eye distance. These angles produced the best results, although placement of the bezel free kit was more crucial to hide the bezels. Our favorite agoraphobe, Sense of Speed, prefers his 32 inch monitors at 65 degrees, which is what we suggest as a starting point. So, how do we do it? Well, that is simple. If you don't have an adjustable triangle or know how to calculate the required dimensions, you can use these dimensions to make one. Grab a piece of cardboard with a 90 degree angle. Mark the edges with the desired length, connect the dots, cut it with a knife, and boom! Jam that little bastard on the back arm and set your angle. We used a standard 60 degree triangle on ours, and our hand model sense of speed also printed a 65 degree because, you know, why not? Once your angles are set, you can align your monitors, install your kit, and enjoy a greatly enhanced, more natural feeling sim racing experience. So there you have it. Not only are we about chill vibes here at WSIM, we drop some tech on you to make your life a little bit better.